Well, we begin at 6 o'clock with this police chase that ended last night with a stolen car rolling into a house on the city's east side. Now, this morning, police still looking for the suspects in that car, but they're also in awe of a brave little three-year-old boy mm. whose only concern was making sure his mom was okay. Carlos Diaz is at Eskenazi Hospital to explain. Carlos? Good morning, Julia. Yeah, you know, that three-year-old boy and his mom, they are here at Eskenazi Hospital, brought here last night in the middle of all this, innocent victims in a police car chase involving a stolen car. More on them in a second, but first I want to talk about the three men in that stolen car. One of them who was thrown from the car is in critical condition here at Eskenazi Hospital, and now he's critical to this case in finding the other two people in that stolen car. And this all went down at around 10 o'clock last night in the 4300 block of 10th Street. Cops spotted a stolen car and a chase occurred. During that chase, the stolen car was T-boned by a silver car, which sent the stolen car rolling into a house. Now, in that silver car was that 37-year-old woman and her brave 3-year-old son. They were unfortunately in the wrong place at the wrong time, but thankfully, they're doing okay. The three-year-old actually was securely um, fastened in his child safety restraint seat, and he actually unbuckled himself to go check on mom. But mom and child are doing fine. They're in good condition at Eskenazi together. Some lucky folks tonight. Yes, very, very lucky and uh, unfortunate that um, the, the criminals, the felons, made a bad decision to, to flee from the police. Never a good, never a good outcome. Now, thankfully, no one in the house was hurt. Now, there were three people in that stolen vehicle. Two of them managed to get out of the wreck and run away. They're still on the loose right now. The third person in that car was actually thrown from the car, as we told you. He was brought here to Eskenazi in critical condition, and you better believe that police want to talk to him now to find out the whereabouts of the other two men in that stolen car. Guys? All right, Carlos Diaz, live for us. That little boy and his mom will be okay. Thanks.